Ooh, what do we got again? Another one. <laughs> we got another one. Another one. Another one. Uh oh, we got a shooter. A shooter in Pittsburgh. I got my What It Is Lift the Veil shirt on. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. And Lift the Veil. Send me a t shirt. <laughs> that's my brother. That's my brother. In, that's my brother from a different mother in LA. Close to LA. So, uh, Ooh, this is ugly. This is a um, this is a crazy story right here. So we got a shooter in, in Pittsburgh, right? I'm reading from the uh, <clears throat> from the post. My new my new go to go to media go to New York Post. So what do we know? This is just information. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate on what I think it is. <clears throat> Maybe just a little. There's one line in there that really struck me. When I get to it, I'll, I'll talk about. It. <clears throat> so. The man authorities believed killed 11 people inside a Pittsburgh synagogue had a history of posting racist, anti, anti-immigrant and anti-Semitic rants and broadcast his violent intentions Saturday, shortly before entering the house of worship with guns blazing. This is, this is crazy. This is, a, this, is, this, is a, this is some crazy, crazy times we're living in. I want to draw the parallels between the... Uh, the the guy with the guy living in his van, the Trump supporter, and this guy. This is there's a, there's something very interesting a connection here. In a post on tweet like social media platform Gab, Robert Bowers, that's his name. Robert Bowers, he's forty six, ranted about Hebrew immigrant and aid the the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, a nonprofit that helps resettle immigrants and refugees. HIAS likes to bring invaders, quote, invaders in that kill our people, Bowers, 46, wrote, about an hour before officials say he took aim at, con- at congregants inside the Tree of Life synagogue. I can't sit by and watch my people get slaughtered. Ay, ay, ay. Bauer did, Bowers didn't mention the synagogue, but, but chillingly added, screw your optics, I'm going in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Officials said Bowers used an, uh, an assault rifle and had three handguns on him when he surrendered to police after the bloodbath in the synagogue. He was wounded by police, but the nature of his injuries were not immediately revealed. A licensed gun owner who legally purchased at least six guns since 1996, Bowers had no criminal record and was unknown to law enforcement. Well, there goes your, <laughs> there goes your background check idea. That's how you're going to get, that's how you're going to solve the problem. You solve the problem. Yeah, we solve the problem. Just background, yeah, background checks, increase the background checks. That'll work. This guy slid. <clears throat> Guy's just a just a regular guy. He snapped, right before the mask. According to Special Agent Bob Jones of the FBI's Pittsburgh office, the suspect's full motive is unknown. <clears throat> How is it unknown? You just they just told you he just posted his motive. He doesn't like the Jew, but he believed he was acting alone. Jones added, <clears throat> beyond his var var. <laughs> virulent anti-Semitism and apparent love for guns, little was immediately known about Bowers, who lived in an unremarkable apartment in the Baldwin section of Pittsburgh, South Hills, a middle-class area of the city. Neighbors at one of his unknown, <clears throat> one of his last known addresses told Pittsburgh Post-Gazette he frequented the home and may have cared for a disabled person there. Online sleuths identify him as a rabid user of Gab, uh oh, watch out, Gab. You know that's what this is all about. This is about framing people as anti semites. You know now, you know with the with the guy, the guy in his van with the anti with the with the Trump po, pro Trump stickers. Now that'll that's a reason to, to shut down your page, demonetize you. I'm going to talk more about the demonetizing because all these videos that I'm doing are now on the arm because YouTube demonetizes them if they don't like the brand. If they don't like what you're saying, they demonetize you. It's fucked up. Called an alt-right alternative to the similar site. So Gab is under fire now. Watch watch out. Bowers. Since deleted profile page under the name One Dingo, <laughs> branded Jews the children of Satan. 
Satan. He created his Gab profile in January, but had already posted 627 messages on the site. Disturbing comments such as, Daily reminder, diversity means chasing down the last white person. A lot of a lot of white people are starting to feel like that. You might want to you might want to give it some thought. I mean, just just a thought, just a thought that white people feel discriminated in, against in this country. I mean, just just something to think about. Just something to think about. He frequently reposted anti-Jewish memes, including several that questioned the Holocaust. <clears throat> It's all free speech so far. There's no there's nothing there's nothing crazy here. The material archived by social media users included several negative posts about Muslims and immigrant caravans from Central America as well, including I have noticed a change in people saying illegals and how they say invaders six days ago. He said, I like that. This is this is where it gets very interesting because the the right the left the the lunatic the lunatic left is going to try to pin it on another another Trump outburst right that's what that's what they're going to try to do right because that's we're in silly season now we're approaching the political season where everything is spun into political motives but here's here's where it gets very very interesting he was equally critical of President Trump who he said was a globalist, not a nationalist. That's right, he is. And was controlled by Jews. Well, that's stupid. Well, that's, that's his opinion. It's not stupid. There is no make America great again as long as there is a kike infest, infestation, he wrote. <laughs> guy's got, guy's got, got a worse mouth than I do. Another anti-Trump post depicted a man in a, a yarmulke... A yarmulke yelling Trump that your character will appear to the public as a white racist. It's how we control whites, with Trump replying, yes, sir. Responding to a gab post that claimed that Trump betrayed Americans in Charlottesville by comparing them with a violent mob, Bowers said this, for the record, I did not vote for him, nor have I owned, worn, or even touched I make America great again hat. He did not have a political party affiliation on his voter registration. All right, so now they can't spin, right? Because the spin is coming. It's only a day old. What else? Gab's mission is very simple. To defend free expression and individual liberty online for all people. The statement continues adding, social media often brings out the best and worse than humanity. Oh, please don't make this into a social media attack. I, it's because that's what's happening, right? Because look, if you keep framing, if you keep framing speech and stickers, and okay, so now I'm 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 revealing this. You know, I'm talking about this subject, and then what? You're gonna take my my sticker and say, you know, oh look, anybody who has the sticker, anybody who's got a sticker or a uh, fucking shirt, all oh, these guys are. These guys, oh, they're up to something. You got to watch them. You got to follow them. Right, that's what's happening, right? You got to be very, very careful of that, right? This is just, this is a, a, a the other thing I want to see is when the, the, what makes people blow a fuse at this level? I, I suspect there's some kind of, I suspect there's some kind of pharmacology going on that the, you know, pharmacology is becoming very sophisticated and combine that with the social tensions of you heard him say it he's, he feels like a white guy he feels like he's being racially discriminated against and nobody wants to hear him right well everybody else because everybody else who is is not white has a certain advantage just listen authorities people of people of the the, the psychopath left just listen to the comment Listen to the comment and then listen to someone who, who, you know, who walked, the, you know, walked the plank in Montgomery and got, got their head bashed in. Just look at the, the, look at the similarities that people, that people in your country are crying out that there's a, there's a, a discrimination. And I don't want to use the word reverse discrimination because it is not, it's, it's discrimination and the category of discrimination now is against white people. And you're seeing this kind of this, this this uh this calling out for help 
That's what it is, crying out for help. So, um, pharmacology. I would like to, I would like to see more, more known about how these oper. If this is an operation at all, or it's just, it's just someone blowing a fuse in the last hours of you know of some sort of some sort of tension or some sort of some sort of thing that he's going through but it's again it's becoming more and more common now the left is going to blame the gun the gun did it the gun did it more gun get rid of the gun take away the gun look if you restrict the gun and no it doesn't it, it has that has that has nothing to do with anything that's not going to this is not going to solve our problem. It's not. It's not going to solve the problem of violence. It's it, ultimately it's an economic problem. Ultimately, it's a problem of of there's a monopoly in this country that is sucking the the lifeblood of our country, right? It's sucking the money, right? They've taken right the, the, through taxation. I right? read my profile. And by by the way, I'm running for the United States Senate. Someday I'll be there. But go down below and look at my profile, right? Go look at my, my platform for a Senate. Raise the corporate tax rate to 80%. Not your tax, not my tax. Anybody making over a few million dollars or is a corporation making a few million dollars, you raise their, cor you raise their tax, and when they don't pay that tax, you, you, you throw them in jail. Ah, right? oh, Conti is a socialist. Oh, 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 he's a socialist. No, he's not a fucking socialist. He's a... Right? You want to, you want to look. You want to improve the lives of people, right? Because right now, what you have is is the is the the crabs in the pot, right? And the water's starting to boil, and they're climbing out, and they're fucking, they're, you know, they're they're dying, you know. And and this is what you get. This is what it looks like. It's not what you get. This is what it looks like when the when the crabs start climbing out of the pot, right? And these a couple of these crabs got guns, right? So. It's an economic, it's always an economic problem because when there's five and six and ten loaves of bread on the table, people don't fight. People, there's, there's harmony and togetherness. Like the 60s where you had a, a thriving economy that came out of a new deal. You know, my grandparents, for example, had a great life in America. And that's, I think that's what a lot of people that are old enough to, when they hear make America great again, that's what they think of. They think of an economically stable country a country where there was where people weren't so afraid of you know they're losing their job they lose their health care they're living paycheck to pay paycheck i mean you got one in one in seven people on food stamps right now 80 percent of the country is living paycheck to paycheck if they have a job 65 percent of the country doesn't have 400 dollars to their name i mean that's just that's just disgusting it's a disgusting fact and those facts have everything to do with psychos like this snapping, right? You know, I mean, I live in New York, and I see, you know, on any given day, you see people just snap. And you never know how it's going to go, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and I, and I did some law enforcement. I know, I know what it looks like when people, there's only so far you can push people to the breaking point. And I, I, I just fundamentally believe that with a media that a corporately owned media that provides nothing but propaganda and insults people's intelligence that they that they don't know which way is up which way is down left right nobody knows anything anymore nobody knows who to trust what to believe where to get their information everybody thinks the other one's a spy and a psyop and a and a and a fake news and a real news and and um you know or even the you know oh I got to go to a doctor and they they give you a pill, and that, that those doctors are controlled by big pharma. See, it's always an economic problem. It it always, in my humble, <laughs> that's ridiculous. I'm not humble. My educated opinion. I I I hold I hold to the to the notion that all of the problems that we see right now are economic in nature and if you if you want to solve <clears throat> you know psycho guy living in his van right who eventually who decides that he's going to take matters into his own hands and he's going to send fake bombs and scare the shit out of all these democrats 
right? And nobody would be thinking about anything like that in a sane, civilized, thriving economy. These these fake numbers of economics where there's thriving, you know, the, that the thriving economy and the, the the markets are up. That money doesn't hit the real economy, and it's and it and people are insulted, and they're they're almost they almost feel like they're being. Um, it's like mocking someone by showing them how well you're living, like commercials, for example, TV commercials. That look how well I'm doing. Look how wonderful we are. Look how beautiful my children are. Right, and and most people are just sitting there, man. Like, fucking, what the fuck, man? What am I doing wrong? It must be. What am I fucking stupid? What, I can't get ahead? What am I fucking? I'm a loser. Right? I'm a fucking loser. Right? That's how most people feel today, right? Because of an ec- the economic problems. So, I mean, um, you know, lower the military, decrease military spending by 80%, stop the military industrial complex from, from, from causing so much damage and, and taking so much of our treasure and spending it on senseless wars. Cold Wars, build up arms, go to space, go to Mars. But but then again, you know, but you got people online, the food stamp line, trying to get, trying to eat. Right? So that's my, that's my initial, uh, my, my gut on this, on this shooting, right? The shooting leads, it, it led me to talk about the economic problems in our country, right? Because that's what it is. That's what it is. My name is Marcus Coffee Report. Peace.